Girls. Hello, this is Jane, and I'm back from my vacation. And I wanted to do a little haul, um, a thrift haul of the things that I got while I was on vacation. We went to, um, uh, where did we go? <laughs> we went to, um, um, the uh, Monhegan Island, Booth Bay. We went to Booth Bay. My goodness. All right. We went to Booth Bay. And I wanted to show you all the things that I got along the way. Some of the stuff that I, I just picked up off the ground, I'm going to make a journal of our little vacation and use the things that I found or, or purchased um, or got from, you know, touristy areas. So the first thing I'm going to do, because it's going to be a long one, I want to get right into it, is show you the things that I just found on the ground. This tag, which doesn't mean anything to me, but I just thought it was pretty cool tag and it has this wire um, has this wire on it that I'm going to use this is just a sticker it was probably off of somebody's I don't know yogurt top or something but um, I liked it it was on the ground and it wasn't like gross or anything so I picked that up I found a flower on the ground I found this at a um, an outside flea market it was just laying on the ground, so I picked it up. I thought that was cool. I don't even like the color. And I found this, I think, at the flea market, too. It's, it's just a, it's a piece of rope that's tied in a knot, and it's all flat. I just thought it was pretty cool. It's a little bit dusty, but that's okay. And I found a pine cone. Actually, this pine cone was completely, like, closed smooth, but it's since... Since I've had it in my bag of goodies, um, it has opened up a little bit. But I think I'm going to make a dangle with that. And just a piece of wood that I found on the ground. Um, I think I found this on Monhegan Island, which we did go to. And I'll show you that in a second. So I got that. And these just came off of some clothing that we purchased, which I'm not going to show you. I just got a dress. And you can use it for something. And I can use, certainly use the, the pins. Okay, that's what I got off the ground this these things I got we got you know like we, from our rooms and from where you know all the places that we went parking receipts I mean can certainly use those grunge them up that look great um, a piece of candy wrapper from a restaurant that we went to they gave us these little mint chocolates afterwards certainly this nice little bag I can use a piece of um, writing paper from the lodge where we stayed in Wiscasset, which is right outside of um, Booth, Booth Bay. And this is a postcard of a show. Unfortunately, the show is this coming weekend and we left yesterday for home. We left uh, Booth Bay, so we won't be able to go to that. Another um, bag. And here's... Um, the Monhegan Island, a little pamphlet from there. Or actually, just a postcard. Another, this is a pamphlet from Booth Bay Harbor. And this is a Brunswick, Maine downtown map. Not that I'm going to use all of this, but I can certainly, you know, like cut out things from it. Um, I'd like to use the maps in the, in the book. This is um, Guardians of the Seeds. Coastal. This is from Botanical Bar Gardens, which we went to. And if you ever get, if you ever go to um, <clears throat> uh, Booth Bay, you need to go to this garden. This was uh, awesome. We we uh, we really enjoyed ourselves. It's hiking all over the place. We did some hiking, um, and just walked around the beautiful, beautiful gardens. And everything's well marked, and it's just a beautiful place. And they have these big, huge trolls. They're huge. They're bigger than the house, um, sitting amongst the, the wooded area. I think there's five of them. There's five trolls that are in there. This, again, is a guest map for the botanical gardens again. Yeah, I guess they, I guess they got a lot of stuff from botanical gardens. Oh, there's the guy again. I don't know if you can see him. The troll. Pretty cool. You got to go to that. Um, more. I guess we were both picking up stuff. <laughs> These 
were our, these we got at breakfast time at our, at the lodge. Um, they had our spoons, you know, our plastic and utensils in here. And I thought they were the neatest little ba bags that I could use them for something. So we got all those. And, and then our, um, we had to choose what we wanted for breakfast. And I post, I picked up some postcards. This was from, this is the lodge that we stayed at. And then we got, I got these postcards that I'm going to put inside the, the journal. And an artist that we saw on Monhegan Island, we went to one of the studios and we picked up the postcard. And this is the trail map for Monhegan Island. Totally useless. We got lost more than I can tell you. We, um, I don't know if we just, I've never had a tr trouble following a map before, but we had trouble following this map. We kept getting lost. And so we walked all over the island before we finally found what we were looking for. I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, is this the island as well? I don't think so. This is just from, I think we picked this up at a restaurant or something, but this is the Booth Bay region, okay. This is Maine, by the way. If you don't, if I didn't mention it was Maine. Um, hmm. Let me see. Monhegan Island. Yes, we expected to find like a big community of artists and be able to see their studios and their art, but mostly it was very touristy, and you know those little touristy shops where they sell all the tchotchkes and stuff. Um, and the things that were being sold as art were um, like a church fair, which I'm not, I have nothing against church fairs, but we were expecting watercolor paintings, oil paintings, um, art, collage. Um, we did find one person who did some awesome prints and... Um, that was good, but there wasn't a whole lot of that either. And yeah, um, I was a, I was a little bit disappointed that we didn't see actual you know um, artists of Monhegan Island. I think they live there, but they don't really. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. But whatever. And these are just these are our tickets that we for, for the boat trips over to the to Monhegan Island. And also we went on a puffin watch. We went on a puffin watch. If you don't know what a puffin is, uh, where's the picture of a puffin? There's gotta be a picture of a puffin here. I had a bunch of pictures of puffins and now I can't find any. Oh, come on. Puffins, where's a puffin? We saw seals in the water. We saw, um, there's a puffin. This is a puffin. We saw these puffins, not these puffins, I mean. Not exactly these puffins, but we did see some puffins, and they were they were very tiny. They were out there on the island, and we couldn't go to the island, but we were able to use our binoculars and see them. But we never were able to get any good pictures. But that was great. We saw that. We saw a sunfish. I now I've never seen a sunfish. This thing was huge. It it was huge. It was I don't know. I can't tell you. When it was big and round, we could see him just under the surface of the water, and um, he had one fin that he was like waving at us out of the water, and that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. We saw porpoise. That was cool. One, I didn't get to see the one that j actually jumped right out of the water, but other people saw that. I saw them going like this, you know, in and out of the water with their fins, you know. That was really cool. Did you see that little motion? Yeah. Okay, so, and then I found this, and this is just main foods. I, I saw a lot of pictures in here that, you know, that I could cut out and put in the, um, in the journal. So I picked this up. I thought it was a, um, a good thing to pick up. And of course, a newspaper. I actually saved things in the newspaper, um, like this as we went along, 
you know, and folded it over because, you know, it just made it easy to carry and store. Um, I also picked off a Monhegan Island when I was, maybe I wasn't supposed to do that, but there was a flower that I, I'm trying to dry. <clears throat> so that's over there. Okay, so that's stuff that I got from my touristy stuff. And then books, of course, books. I looked everywhere for books. I didn't really find very many books. There was one um, antique used bookstore, you know, antique books store. But when I walked in, it was just overwhelming, and you know, we didn't we didn't want to spend all our time in there. So, um, so I didn't. I just looked around a little bit, and I didn't really see anything um, that I would want, and that was very pricey. So. Anyway, this I got for $2 at a, actually at a Salvation Army. And so this is, I love the cover. Um, so that'll be a good one. And then this one was $4 at the same place. And um, it is the Pathway for Reading 5th Reader, 5th Grade Reader. It says 5th Reader. And so this has some... Um, some black and white illustrations in it and that's okay but I liked the cover it's on this as well and this one I I don't know I don't even know which way to put it it's like upside every time no matter what way I put it it's upside down so <laughs> oh there so yeah um I I don't know what kind of writing is that I don't know but I found it interesting and so that and then this one, I thought was interesting. It's just, I think I just liked the cover on this one and I, I probably picked this up for a really good price. I don't see any price on it anywhere. But there's, there's a little, a little like, it looks like a mermaid or something right there in the center. So that's what I got for books. Now, the antique -y and crafty things I got, I'll show you those. First, I'll show you these. This I, I found this old, old box of swing, swing line staples. I like the box, and I have a little collection of this kind of stuff um, up somewhere. And then this old box of floral clay. I, I, I liked the graphics on it, and it's full, too. There's clay, there's clay in there. And then these old letters. I found this at a the outdoor flea market. The envelope and an old letter. And he actually stood there and read me the letter. So he asked me, did you read this letter? And I said, no, I did not read the letter. And it's, uh, he said, it, it, well, I don't know. I only half listened, but um, I don't know. I didn't think it was that interesting. But it's a cool letter anyways, and I like, you know, East Stoughton, Mass. That's where that's from. And I'm having a hard time getting it in, so I'm not going to force it now. This is a bank, um, like a bank card from Amos Gag Savings Bank in Manchester. I lived in Manchester for a little while. Oh, I thought there was something in there. Oh, I guess there isn't. Oh, well, I like the envelope anyways. Um, what was it? Okay, in that bag. Then this is another envelope that I found. It's just a rickety old envelope, but I just liked this on there, so I thought that was a cool one. And this car postcard I really liked. I think it might be an advertising card. Raven Tresses. So I guess it's advertising shampoo or something. I can't see it because I don't have my glasses on. Um, according to the Act of Congress in the year 1864, uh, in the clerk's office, Raven Tresses. I really don't know what that's about. But anyways, I like it. <clears throat> And I found this seam binding. 
awesome. I was so happy to find this. I know probably this some of it is going to be a little bit too. Oh, that's a tiny, tiny little, little pin. Um, some of it might be a little bit fragile, but oh, isn't that going to be great inside of a journal? It's a bow, and bows and stuff. And yes, I got that color, and I got a pinky color. Okay, point that little tiny, little, 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 little tiny pin. Well, I can't even hold it. It's so small. All right, stick that in there and put those aside. But yeah, the pink one, you wanna see the pink one? Oh, that's my male person. This is the pink one. See, this one's even a little more um, tatty. It's it's fragile, but you know, once it's tied in, I think further down, it'll be good. So I really like those. And then this piece of lace, I got this at the flea market as well. He had a whole table full, but he was asking a lot, so I got what I could afford. I got this piece. I think I opened it up and there was about a yard in there. And this one, I paid $7 for this. Um, I know, that might have been, it was supposed, it said it was 20% off, and then when I went out front, it said, no, this doesn't qualify. So I was like, are you kidding me? I, you know, I, have, I had all this stuff in there that was said it was, you know, a percentage off. And then when I got to the counter, there was no percentage off. There was only a percentage off as a dollar item. So I got it anyways. But it's some really nice vintage. I don't know. I didn't open this, so I don't know how much is in there. It says three plus yards. Okay. So there's a little mark on here it's, that says that means, you know, no discount. But I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know that symbol meant that? And a bunch of checks. Lewiston Trust and Safe Deposit Company. I got a bunch of these. They're not that great. There are no, you know, awesome graphics on it or anything, but I thought they were pretty cool. Lots of writing. And they're all they've all been endorsed. So I thought I thought those were pretty cool. There was just this one little piece of like trim and it has some raised raised um, stitching on it I liked that I mean I was drawn to yellow all the all the all the time throughout our little travels for I don't know why I was just was gravitated towards yellow this is real satin ribbon which is not easy to find. Let's see, it crinkles up really nice. See how nice that crinkles up. Oh, that's gonna be so great. Love that. Found that. And another little piece of lace. I paid eight dollars for this. Again, was not on discount like it said it was going to be. But it is beautiful. Look at that washi tape on there. That's gonna look good. That's so gonna look so good in journals. Okay, and then for four fifty, I found this old needle book. It was funny because I found this in one spot um, in this antique store, and there was only the one. And then I went around the corner, and there was another person's stuff, and she had the same one and was asking like. 12 or 14 dollars for this same exact one and she had a bunch of other ones she had a whole pile of of um needle cases that i had never seen before but <clears throat> that's really nice I'll put, it on cards. I'll put that aside and i think in that same antique store she there were a bunch of these labels. There was a whole pile of these. It was the only one that I liked. Portland brand corn. And I got this at the Salvation Army. It was, oh no, I got this at a little thrift store that was just about closing. And um, I think I paid 50 cents for it. And, oh no, these are what, these I did get at Salvation Army. These I got at that little thrift store, and I paid a, a quarter for both of them, because I use a lot of this um, seam binding, and that's nothing. 
And I went into a little shop. It was an art supply shop, and they had a bag of these letters and numbers. So I really like that. I'm not going to open it. I think you can see that there's a bunch of letters in here. And I found this. I don't, you can't even see it, but it's a, it's a, um, there you go, a stencil. I'm actually going to use this on our stairs in the house because we just painted the stairs and I wanted to decorate the fronts of them, but n what, nothing, you know, too over, overdone. So I'm just going to paint some or stencil some flowers on the stairs. And then I found this. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Um, I think I got this at the at a yard sale, but that can go nicely on t on the front of a, a book. So yeah, that's what I got for um, antique crafty things. I also found this, which um, I want to use to line some shelves in here, and a yard stick. Now this I got two of these. Both of these for $6 at a yard sale. And I'll show you one at a time. And I'm not gonna go through because this is gonna take forever. But she wasn't doing any scrapbooking anymore. And although it's not my style, there are a lot of things in here that I can use and what I don't use, I'm going to put in my Macari store. And also as um, to my, my, my members, my Patreon members, um, who get a happy mail once a month, which I'm due to send out now. Okay, so these are little, I've never seen these before, they're photo splits. I'm uh, not sure. I guess you just stick your photos down. The, I guess they're double-sided and you easy to apply. I've never seen them before, but they're acid-free. And then ultra-thin glue dots. That was in there. And then all these pages, which she already put inside the, the here which um, I probably won't I, that's probably gonna be something that I don't keep and most actually you know most of it is it are things that I'm not going to keep um, <clears throat> I do like some of these these little things this is all for scrapbooking so um, I do like some of these things and there are some words and letters and um, look at my Macari store because I'm going to do the whole thing as a bundle and um, there's glue on there and and probably sell a good deal of this um, on my in my Macari store <laughs> because it's it's all oh, these are things that um, it, it, it's not me although they're beautiful and I I like them and they're really cute and everything I'm it, it, I'm more a grungy kind of antique you know, kind of thing. But anyways, um, these I like. These I thought they were pretty cool. I could probably use those if I grunge them up. And, you know, these are cool too. I kind of like these strips uh, that I can also grunge up. And these, these are probably pretty cool too. But, um, like, this is not my style. It, it's too bright. You know, I like grunge. Um, and here's some words. I might, I don't know if I'll use that. Um, just some pieces of scrap paper. But as you can see, there is so much here. So much. And I'm just going to go quickly, quickly um, through this because I don't want this to be a real long. This is metal, these little metal hearts. Butterflies. Um... Mary Engelbright, all these um, letters. These are kind of cool. I like the, the flowers. And, you know, a lot of birthday things. So she did a lot of things for family, it, it looks like. So, yeah, monkeys. I like the monkeys. But that's going to be something that's... This is home, Mary Engelbright. More letters. More like these... Uh, Clear, I think. 18 border stickers. I'll call those border stickers. Letters. These are puffy. Um, letters, butterflies and things. These are pretty. 
Yes, so, so much. I mean, most of these packages. This is a Cabbage Patch Kids birth certificate and adoption papers. <laughs> I don't know why that was in there. And more Aunt Mary Englebright. Okay, that's that one. The other one is pretty much the same, but I'll show it to you anyways. I mean, just these, these, these plastic containers alone are worth the six dollars. So she must have really wanted to get rid of, rid of stuff. And this one is, I'm sorry, I touched the camera cord. And more of those long strips. And some glue. And some monkeys. And some more letters and these look like they came out of you know a kit because there's a whole bunch of them this color and some crosses and this says laugh mary inglebright our home more of these rub on ones um these are uh, what do you call those bugs ladybugs or lady beetles butterflies, sunflowers, animal footprints, happy birthday, more letters, more ladybugs, more monkeys, snowflakes, um, airplane, passport, birthday, and then a bunch of paper. This is that sparkly paper. We took it out and looked at this in the hotel, and we ended up with sparkles all over the room for the rest of the time. But there's three of these. Um, and then a bunch of paper. Very bright paper. It's just copy paper. And this is, um, what do you call that? Her? Dory? Is it? I don't know. I, I, it's a Nickelodeon. I think it's Dora. And I was close. And then some papers. See, now this is like me. I like this one. So I'll probably keep that one. And this one's a nice one, too. I like that one, too. Um, but there's all kinds in here. Big sheets like this of all different colors. And that's what the rest of this is is there's some Christmas in there this is like a linen paper it's very nice and Mickey Mouse yeah so yeah this is pretty much most of the stuff in, is going on in my Macari store as one huge lot so that's it that's what I got I hope you liked that I think I showed you everything. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and I'm glad to be home again, and I will see you next time. See you. Bye.